Hello, this is a showcase of uh, how this model, uh, this render is made and uh, this is a character from uh, Ernest and Celestine, this is Celestine's and uh, it, the original, uh, the movie is actually done in, uh, in 2D but I have recreated it, the character in 3D and this is how it is uh, recreated. Let's move to Blender. Okay, I've rendered this one scene. And from here, we will start from using uh, from the uh, freestyle setting. Uh, for the freestyle, because uh, freestyle is a mesh post process, we use a lot of, uh, well, we decide the line in actually on, on the mesh. So here you can see missing lines, weekly lines, there are lines that have uh, no geometry at all, uh, no, no more extra modeling at all and, and this is how I, 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 I get this. And okay, let's look at the head of the character. There's a lot happening here. So this line, the red line is actually the seams for the UV. So pay no attention to that. And this one is actually a crease. And the, this green line it edges is actually the freestyle edge mark. You get that from uh, Ctrl E, the edge menu here. And then this green uh, faces, you get that from uh, freestyle uh, face mark here. Uh, these green lines is actually to uh, a, an area to include or exclude the uh, line from being rendered. Okay, uh, after marking this alone, you will not get anything special from it. Or you still have to go through freestyle to get uh, to exclude the line from being drawn. Why I exclude the line is because, uh, for example, here you have a black eye here and you don't want another line to appear while the eye is in this location so you remove the line here for the ears here because we have we want to uh, because I want to uh, make this one very uh, emphasize the fur more than the rest so I remove the extra lines like the, this silhouette line here it's the same I think here I still put it the same here is missing line and some more okay for the face mark here is the setting in freestyle uh, the line set I turn on face mark uh, in the setting here in the setting inclusive means everything inside the line will get drawn and exclusive means in it uh, any line that appear inside the uh, the faces will not get drawn one face it has one face or both face uh, options one face means anything that touch one of the face like uh, the appear in this edge or inside the face uh, will uh, in this case is will not get drawn if you click both face means the face must be inside two faces inside two faces like the line here then it will get drawn so it's made more intuitive to use one face to exclude the line and here you want to see this part and this part I will show you here in this you can see that I exclude lines from here because it can get pretty busy on, on this upper side when I have the edge mark on the on this uh, different different clothing and here I exclude here the line and uh, the line to being drawn here so when it goes that direction this uh, it will not draw lines and here I just indicate the pocket using this uh, this line uh, this uh, what's that H mark at the back as well here because when you go here this side is pretty busy and you want to break that business through using 
using this uh, this line where else I use that so it's on the this model on the shoe uh, extra line on the here this part and then on the tail I remove the, uh, the line from here and then that is pretty much it for the modeling uh, this modeling will decide what type of uh, line style we use here silhouette is the outer silhouette here this part uh, the boulder is uh, the open mesh like down here and here and edge mark is used on the like here and that's it for the line style uh, no line line type and for the line style if we use the default line style let me render it you get something like this it's extremely boring because I have some experience with uh, how flash works uh, the Adobe flash which initially called uh, Macropedia flash I have experience with it I know how the lines are actually constructed so the line style for the stroke the chain uh, we have chaining on with a uh, plane if you don't have chaining on it the line will block will be broken at every uh, how to say that every face that it, it meets so we have chaining on then for the to remove noise we uh, here the, I set the minimum length of uh, two, uh, 7 pixel so anything that is lower than uh, 7 pixel length will not get drawn and for the color I use a uh, very dark red the very dark desaturated J saturated red color and then because if you use dark color it's uh, fairly boring like right now it's it don't have any character to it alpha i don't use it for thickness i i use the a long stroke modifier with a uh, curve here i set the uh, line of uh, minimum thickness of two and five so this line will become it goes up in thickness very fast so it become it will look stubby and uh, more like some the, the line the line style that i wanted so it's stubby here so it start at two and then and go to five quite instantly and then the magic for the weekly part is in here geometry here i have something that most people don't uh, don't really pay attention is the sampling uh, by default the sampling is 10 pixel for every 10 pixel it will do whatever is uh, other modifier down here uh, uh, for this I need it to be smaller I can do one pixel but I don't need so fine because uh, it's uh, you still need you want the changes uh, to happen uh, not extremely frequent okay so I put it in a sample of two pixel and for the noise text, uh, line I used a uh, special noise with the amplitude of 0 0.6 pixel and the scale of 5, five uh, scale of 5 it means every 5, pix uh, five pixel along the line I displace it by 0 0.6 pixel so this thing is happening in uh, 3D space so it become it, the changes will uh, the line will go back go to the back or go to the front and go to the left side or the right side of the line uh, at, at most at 0 0.6 pixel because we have uh, sub pixel sampling this yeah, the, even though it only moves 0 0.6 pixel you still can see the differences at the uh, 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 because of the anti-aliasing and this noise is actually done in uh, 4 octave means 1 octave is like big wave of noise and then 2nd octave is actually something finer 3rd octave and then all the octave combined will become a very noisy 
uh, very high quality and uh, quality noise. Actually, special noise is one of the many uh, noise modifier we have with uh, uh, in the geometry modifier. We have a uh, Bezier curve, we have uh, Perlin noise 1D and 2D. Bezier curve only have uh, this error, uh, which is not quite intuitive for most people. Perlin noise 1D and 2D is pretty much the same. It's actually, this is moving in one angle, this is moving in two angle. But if you want to make something more more aesthetically pleasing, you use uh, the special noise. Special noise is actually the same as Perlin 2D but with one more extra dimension. So you move the line is actually in 3D. So here is move forward, backward and left, right. The line move that way. So the line can become thicker, thin, uh, thinner when it moves 0 0.6 pixel away and thicker 0 0.6 pixel forward. So this, this, this thing is uh, pretty useful. And here we have smooth on. If you don't have smooth on, the noise will be very jaggy. Uh, for animation, we turn off this pure random. Uh, you only use it uh, for on steel. Uh, pure random is uh, just random. If you turn it off, you have coherence between one frame to another. So the noise is not like super random. And that's it, I think, for the freestyle part. And next, we will see uh, the how I get this uh, texture. Uh, let's see the example again. Okay, if you can see the character right now, the background, the tech, the uh, paper texture. Is actually moving animated like it's alive so the character even though it's just spinning is it feels very alive because of the uh, texture so we will look at that next okay back to blender let's move to this screen maximize it okay the this is uh, the texture is actually done in pose uh, this it has this is the final render for that I changed the value a bit here and then here this is one big huge texture and this one is a seamless texture the goal here is actually to get the texture displaced at a different uh, different position so to change it I move a bit of this texture with if you see closely here it has different position so it move X Y in the different position every frame and here the translation is uh, because this is a wrapping texture I wrap both direction and move it a bit so that it don't align too perfectly and then this is another alignment then I change the angle and the size and uh, the scale a bit the position and scale a bit this is also the same but just different different numbers and then I mix those two mix those two but animating while mixing it here I have three set three numbers 0, 0 0.5 and 1 so when it's 0 is this texture when it's 1 is this texture 0 0.5 is the mix of them two I enhance it a bit here to get some uh, the color to pop more mix with this color to overlay I put it into one so that they mix very strongly I mean, I, I make it more extreme to get that super blown out feel because I will need it here. I need the detail for use in the next overlay. I won't use this as extreme like this, this color. Uh, I just put around 0 0.4 here. 
if I put full is uh, it even overpower the line uh, so 0 0.4 is actually more natural feels more paper like and that is pretty much it so let's look at the animation so that is how we get to this result it's uh, extremely easy it's all about the fundamentals and uh, this is a showcase of uh, this model